exotic astrology today we are here with the most interesting topic of this year for india especially who will win the lok sabha elections for 2024 and many of you have also asked me what will happen in 2029 so here is a small presentation from my side trying to see the contenders from different perspectives like astrology and numerology but as always if you are new then please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the thumbs up the like button if you enjoy this video now before we go into the discussion there, there is a humble request from my side please understand that this is just an astrological video and politicians are by default very polarizing figures so therefore please be respectful to each other and to your favorite politician and to their opponents also if you want to share this video or comment anything in the comment section all right thank you now what is this slide this slide tells us the top 10 states so we know in india uh, there are total 543 seats uh, as of now uh, for the lok sabha which is like uh, the lower house and here are the top 10 states which sends the number member of parliaments in the descending order so the highest is of course up uttar pradesh with 80 seats and then we have maharashtra bengal bihar tamil nadu and so and so so uh, whoever wins the majority of the seats in these states will claim victory uh, and therefore uh, it is also essential that we uh, kind of try to study the horoscopes or the date of births of the leaders of these particular states because uh, i do not have the birth complete birth details which is you know the time and uh, the date also for some people so i have tried my best to use astrology which is you know the, the date of birth time and the place and just the numerology which is date of birth for uh, the leaders who, who do not have a uh, time of birth okay now which is the magic number what is the magic number the magic number is 272 so which means anybody who gets 272 will be able to form the government any party who gets this okay now the result of the elections have been declared by the election commission of india which is 4th of june 2024 all right now why do we use astrology astrology is uh, used to uh, get the person's nature and we can identify certain time periods uh, which are known as dashas which actually tell us how is the person thinking and what decisions can the person take and what opportunities could come and what could be the results okay and numerology is also very important because this gives us clue about the person's profession what kind of uh a personality will the person have uh, what will be his or her likes dislikes and strengths and weaknesses all right so if we have both the numerology and the astrology then this is like the perfect uh, recipe for a correct prediction but if we don't then we at least have the date of birth and we use numerology now uh, there's a lot of discussion and debate on this topic uh, in regards to which horoscope should we use should we use the chart of uh, the organization like for example here we have uh, modi ji uh, and rahul gandhi ji so do we use like the time when the bjp was formed or when the congress was formed well we cannot use that because uh, the leader's horoscope is the only horoscope which has atma right which has free will so for example modi ji and rahul ji they are living personality so their horoscope has free will and they can decide what to do which will create further karma okay so are uh, taking uh, the horoscope of an institution which is already not having uh, atma or free will uh, will not give results okay so at the end what happens is we come to a conclusion when we see all the other leaders uh, in the indian polity we come to know that the primary contest will be between the bjp and the congress so bjp is currently the party and congress is the one who is the primary opposition party and if the congress party can somehow uh, bring in 100 150 seats and then they can reach the majority mark by coalition or the bjp wins uh, by itself or again by coalition so 
Essentially, we will consider the horoscopes of these two leaders and not of their respective organizations. Now, this is the horoscope of Sri Narendra Modi ji. So, here as you can see in the left side, uh, this is the Lagna chart, uh, which tells us uh, which houses, uh, which signs actually the planets are placed in. So, for example, here if you see, this is uh, Mars and Moon in sign number 8, which is the sign of Scorpio. And uh, on the right, you have the Bhava chart, which actually tells us uh, which house a planet is in. Okay, so for example, uh, here in the Lagna chart, you, you may think, oh, Moon and Mars are in the second house because the ascendant is Libra and uh, this Scorpio is in the second house. But no, actually, if you see in the Bhava chart, they both of them moon and mars even though they are in scorpio but they are in the first house they are not in the second house okay and in astrology we always mm -hmm. give predictions on the basis of the bhava chart and not the lagna chart okay lagna chart is used for knowing what is the person thinking inside and what kind of uh, desires does the person has what kind of inclinations does the person has okay but the house will tell us ultimately what will happen to the person and what areas will the person be working in okay so uh, this horoscope um, is an exceptionally powerful horoscope and it has to be because uh, modi ji is india's prime minister india is the largest country in the world and the biggest democracy also so uh, needless to say the horoscope is extremely powerful so if you see in the bow chart uh, the lagnesh uh, is Venus which is number 7 which is because it's Libra so Venus has gone to the 10th house in the sign of Leo and uh, this is a very 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 powerful placement and uh, if you see his 10th uh, Lord which is actually uh, the moon moon also goes to the ascendant this is a, it, it's like a parivartan which is happening between moon and Venus uh, you, you could say in that sense uh, not exactly, but just to explain in that sense. But nonetheless, this is a, a very, very, very powerful placement, okay? Uh, because if you see uh, the 11th Lord, which is Mercury, is again in the 10th house, okay? So this is a phenomenal placement. I've said in so many videos that if the Lagna, the 10th and the 11th, they somehow come together, then this is the best recipe for success and there is no doubt for it, okay? Now, uh, we go to uh, Sri Rahul Gandhiji's chart. Uh, but before that, uh, let's analyze which dasha is Modi ji going to have during the time the elections will be over. Okay, so 4th of June. So he will be running Mars Mahadasha and Jupiter Antar Dasha. Okay, very, very powerful planets in his chart. So if you see uh, Mars is uh, actually uh, in the sign of Scorpio and in the first house itself. So this is like a Ruchak uh, Mahapurush Yoga. Very, 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 very powerful. And if you see uh, Saturn, if you try to see, this is a Libra Lagna chart. So uh, Saturn becomes a very powerful planet because Saturn is the Yoga Karaka. Okay. And here what is happening is Saturn is again going into the 10th house. So exceptionally powerful. So astrology wise, the placements are superb. And if you also go one level deeper, you go to the nakshatras, you see Mars is in Vishaka nakshatra and Jupiter is in Dhanishtha. So it is also, so Mars is in Jupiter's nakshatra, Jupiter is in the nakshatra of Mars. So this is a proper nakshatra parivartan which is happening and this gives phenomenal name, fame, power position to the person and there's no doubt about it. Now, let us go to Rahul Gandhiji's chart. So... This chart is also a very powerful chart uh, and uh, that's pretty obvious because he's the leader of the Congress party. It has to be a, it has to be a very strong chart indeed. Uh, so if you see, uh, again, uh, both of them are Libra Lagna, uh, needless to say that. And uh, if you see, even in his case, uh, Jupiter as the Lagna Lord uh, is going into the, uh, sorry, I mean Venus as the Lagnish is going into the 10th house again, okay? Again, a very a phenomenal placement. It shows the person has capacity for good leadership. Uh, but there are some issues in this chart. Like, for example, the Yoga Karaka Saturn is in debility. This is a major drawback of this chart because of which what happens is 
the yoga karaka saturn is the fourth lord in the chart and when the fourth lord goes in debility uh, for a politician this uh, kind of shows that the person may not have public support or the person may not be able to understand the pulse of the public okay so uh, but there are other phenomenal placements in the chart so if you see uh, moon is in the third house and sun is in the ninth house these are very 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 powerful placements and apart from that there is one another challenging placement which is the placement of rahu although rahu is well placed in aquarius but he is not in a good house for rahu okay fifth house is not a good house for rahu and if you see his 11th lord which shows gains has also gone to the 8th house so uh, there are significant issues and if you see the 6th lord jupiter he has gone to the lagna which is not bad but again it shows uh, there's a lot of competition that he has to overcome okay now which dasha will he be running so around uh, may june his dasha is changing so he's in rahu mahadasha and his saturn antara dasha will begin somewhere april may which is again the time when there are elections now uh, if you see rahu and saturn are those two planets which are very uh, which have very challenging placements in the chart so that is why i mentioned about rahu and saturn and what is going on so if you see one 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 of them is rahu which is placed in a trine which is not a good placement for rahu and saturn is in debility now the good thing is uh, saturn although is in debility in aries uh, but he is in the 7th house where he is in digbal so this means uh, even if there are uh, extreme problems like for example uh, with such difficult placements uh, there could be serious issues with uh, rahul ji i mean he could face serious issues like you know imprisonment or uh, serious court cases or legal troubles after uh, may especially okay and this is exactly the time when the election is there but because it is in uh, saturn is in digbal so he will still have some chances to come out of it and you know stay at a level where uh, he can at least have his basic survival and sustenance okay and uh, this also shows uh, because rahu is in the fifth house so uh, this clearly shows from the fifth rahu is aspecting you know the ninth house where his sun and mars are placed so mars is also the seventh lord sun is also the eleventh lord so this is clearly indicating to me that uh, his advisors are misguiding him uh, on what to say what not to say which issue, issues to pick up which issues not to pick up so this is a very problematic situation because you do not have good advisors and because of this you are misguided and there because of rahu there could be fraud as you have already seen many people have uh, from the congress party has already left uh him and they have come and joined bjp or other parties like the tmc of course and because of the fourth lord being in debility it shows there's a lack of public support now if you go by numerology what is happening if you see modi ji's date of birth 17 september 1950 uh if you add his basic number which is the day only which is 17 it goes to 8 and if you add his complete date of birth which is the destiny number is the number 5 so if i just read the numerology this tells me that uh modi ji's personality uh, at an external level remember numerology gives you uh, predictions at an external level for your profession and for your activities in the outer world so this shows modi ji is uh, he's very assertive so when he says something he really means it and he does not say anything without having an intention to uh, do it okay and it shows he's a good administrator because uh, <clears throat> there is also the number 9 there which shows you know he's very bold and very courageous and the number 8 is also there which is the number of saturn which shows he's very hard working and because his destiny number is 5 and he has another 5 in his date of birth he's born in 1950 so this tells me uh, that he has very good knowledge of finance and if you see now india Uh, will very soon uh, in the next 3 to 5 years uh, become the world's third largest economy after america and china which is a very great achievement of course indeed so you can see that and now if you go to uh, rahul ji's uh, date of birth uh, he's born on 19 june 1970 
so if you add his basic number 19 is again 1 and his destiny number which is the complete date of birth it comes to 6 now uh, because he also has the number 9 so he is also very bold and courageous he does not fear anybody he is fearless uh, but there is some problem in his leadership so there is less assertiveness okay which means sometimes he may say something which uh, I, I don't mean to say he is he does not mean it but he may not do it later or he may not uh, put emphasis on it later okay so this is one issue so he should be careful in what he speaks and he is a tremendous master when it comes to health and finances because his destiny number is six which is the number of venus and he's also very handsome and he does a lot of push-ups and all this you know like uh, the walking and all this in bharat joro yatra and all this uh, but when it comes to uh, management there is mismanagement and as i said before the date of birth also indicates there could be like you know bad advisors which are uh, which are telling you things which uh, is not good for you okay so that means uh, by using astrology and numerology we clearly come to the conclusion and by seeing the dashas in may april and especially the month of june that she narendra modi will be the winner of this election and there is absolutely no doubt and also the victory will be effortless it will be a grand victory and of course uh, you can see i have written a number 300 to 320 plus uh, but this is not uh, a very uh, accurate number that i have written because for for getting into this number i have used the date of births of the other leaders in the respective states of the top 10 uh, states which have the maximum number of seats and I have come to an approximate conclusion, okay? Of course, uh, Modi ji recently said uh, that they will get more than 400 seats. Uh, that could happen or that may not happen. But uh, in my knowledge, at least there should be 300 to 320 seats which his party will win alone, okay? And of course, they may cross 350 or even 400 with, with the NDA, uh, which, is, uh, the, which is like the... Uh, it's like that uh, where everybody comes together okay <clears throat> uh, but in my opinion at least 300 to 320 should be there without the coalition okay but what about 2029 well i will not speak much on this but if i do my analysis as of now depending on the dashas both of them that both of them are running i see narendra modi ji will also have a very clear and effortless victory uh, but of course this prediction is dependent on the fact that you know his health is in okay condition in good condition uh, i mean there could be problems but uh, he should be in a situation where he can handle uh, the pressure and the responsibilities and if i assume that he is normal and he is able to contest and fight the election then 2029 also will award him a grand victory and it will also be effortless of course, I'll not get into how many seats he may get that time because I, I think uh, the time is for that has not yet come. We will see how destiny unfolds itself. So, the conclusion of the video is uh, Modi ji, Sri Narendra Modi ji will be the Prime Minister of India from 2014, which is already 10 years and for the next 10 years to 2034. And if you want me to make a detailed video on 2029 or what will happen after 2034, then please let me know down in the comments. I would love to read your comments. And as I requested before, please keep your comments respectful. Uh, do not forget that everybody is a human being. All right. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation regarding your horoscope from me then you can always go to my website which also is there in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him thank you so much